support her. And that's it, right? Yes, it's recording. Good morning, family. Good morning. Amen. Please unmute your mic for just one little minute. I just want to hear your voices, please. Good morning. Good um, morning. Good 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 morning. Hey, Tricia. Oh, dear. I love Good you morning. guys so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, y'all so beautiful. Y'all so beautiful. Hey, Tricia. Hallelujah. Hi, Stacy. Oh, y'all so beautiful. Oh, y'all so beautiful. I'm finna cry. <laughs> okay. All right. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Hey, praise, baby. I got tissues. Anyway. I'm not gonna cry. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody blessed? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. We're going to go ahead on and pray and get started. Whew, God has just given us an awesome word this morning, and um, I'm thanking him for what he has done. You can go on and mute your mics now. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Laura. I know you. Oh, I love you guys so much. Hallelujah. I'm just thanking him. Hallelujah. Let us pray, please. Father, in your holy name, Lord, we come praying, Father, in the name of Yahashua Hamishiach, Jesus the Christ. Lord, we just thank you for this day. Lord, I just thank you for filling my heart with joy. Lord God, I just thank you right now, Lord, for unity. I thank you, Father God, for this day that you have made, and we'll be glad and rejoice in it. And God, we just open up our heart to receive what you are speaking, not what Sister Mitchell want to say, but what you are speaking, Lord. We open up our, our mind, Lord God, that it can be renewed in you and your word, Lord. We open up our heart to receive. We just thank you, Lord God, because you are an awesome, loving, merciful Abba, Abba. You are Abba, Father. And we thank you right now, Lord God, that all those, Father, who hear my voice, with Lord God, my prayer and by spiritual, Lord, they will hear you, Lord God, your messenger, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, just be thou glorified. We thank you now, God, for all those who are here, all those who desire, all those who are coming in. Lord, just be thou glorified. And I thank you right now, Lord, how you uh, encourage us. You, you love us. You keep us. Even when we don't know we're being kept, you still keep us. We thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the honor, Father. We ask you for revelation, illumination, and impartation this day, Father. That the word that you speak to us today, Father, we know that it is you and you alone. Hallelujah. We love you and adore you, Father. Be thou glorified. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight. For you are our strength and you truly are our redeemer. Hallelujah. We love you and we worship you, Father. Strengthen those who need strength. Heal those who need healing. Renew those, Father, who need renewing of the mind. And we love you and we adore you. We love you, Father. The people are going through. But we know, Father, your word is faithful. You never leave nor forsake. In the holy name of Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. I say again, good morning. Um, the word the Lord has put in my heart today, I want to share. And y'all, please forgive me if I move around a little bit because I'm one of them walking people. I like to walk, you know. I don't know. I never sit down and, and talk, you know, because I, I, I've never was an instructor by sitting. Pastor Dave did awesome. Awesome, awesome. Pastor Dave did. That's excellent. Um, so pray for me. Pray for me at this time. Everybody get on the wall and just go to praying. Amen. Go to praying. Pray that I don't get up out of this chair. Hallelujah. God, then I'll be off camera. Uh, I want to share this morning what the Most High gave me, I think around about, maybe about two months ago. Uh, uh, I want to encourage God's people this morning. I want to encourage you and let you know that uh, 
Truly, 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 Elohim, the most high God, he knows what you are going through. So this word is this morning, that the most high is sending us, it's a word of encouragement. Amen. And he gave me, and maybe I'll finish up next Sunday, he gave me uh, some words uh, that we're going to talk about and who we're going to talk about and why he's talking about it. Because it, 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 you know, we, we all know that we have an enemy. Can we agree with that? You can shake your head or somebody. We all have an enemy, all right? And we know who that is. And his main thing is that he steal, kill, and destroy. And his main purpose is to try to destroy what God loves, okay? So this morning, uh, he gave me something in my eye. Excuse me for one little minute. He gave me uh, this morning, he want to let you know, he said, be encouraged. Okay, stay mounted up, stay on the wall, okay, and know that he, he, he's faithful. His words that he never left nor forsake us, amen? If I keep rubbing my eye, please forgive me. I think I got a piece of hair in it or something. But anyway, these are the words. He gave me a word to encourage you in the area of, of prophecy. Don't you know when God says something to a people, he... He cannot lie. He's going to tell you the truth about it. Amen. He said the main thing that a lot of us don't know when I'm prophecy is going and when prophecy uh, I understand. Real. Somebody got their mic on. Okay. Then the next word he gave me, he wants you all to know that he sent everybody sitting here and all those who are in him, he sent us a note. He gave us a note. The note he gave me might not be for you, but yet I'm in the same body. The note for me might not be the same note for you, but anyway, it's a note. So I'm going to read these words out again. The next word he gave me to talk to you about was instructions. He gave us, he given his people right now instructions. Some of us, he showed me some, some of us in the spirit. We've been walking down with our head down. We've been, Lord, what am I going to do now? No, 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 no. That ain't what, that ain't what, that ain't what he's saying. No, no. Stay up. Keep your head up. Look up to the hill from which cometh what? Your help. Amen? Okay, so we said prophecy. He gave us a word of prophecy. But you got to know when that prophecy is for you. You got to know when that prophecy is prophecy. And a lot of times, I believe, it came to me by revelation since I've been not locked in, but since I've been just doing what I'm supposed to do. A lot of times, he told me, a lot of times my people don't teach or come out of the Old Testament because they don't know when prophecy is fulfilled and they don't know when prophecy is not fulfilled. So he's given us a revelation this morning. There are some prophecies in our life that have not been fulfilled. But when you read the Old Testament, you think it's fulfilled. No, 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 no. Jeremiah is one. Obadiah is one. Joel is one. Even some Isaiah is one. And some of the prophecies he say that he, 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 he has not fulfilled, or uh, some of them have been fulfilled. Now, you got to catch that in the spirit. Because some things he's going to do it what? Again. Just to show us who he is. Hallelujah. Next word is that he's, I, he, I've given you a promise. The reason why a lot of us feel broke down and bent over and beat up because we have forgotten the promise. I love y'all. Hallelujah. Everybody send me a kiss. <laughs> anyway, and the next word is covenant. I might not get to all these today, but what I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. The next word is restoration and reconciliation. There's one thing we didn't learn when we read the Holy Oracles of God, the Word of God, is that if you read the Old Testament, if you can't go back to the uh, front, to the New Testament and see what he said, then you kind of like, I used to be confused. I said, hold on, I can't read that. That's in the Old Testament. The devil is a liar. It was the way that maybe even I taught myself, maybe some of the talk, teachings that I had had. No, no. Everything in the New Testament is in the Old. Everything in the Old is in the New. You just got to know the type shattering like the Word of God said. You got to know the type shattering. Okay? Now, here we go. 
Write these down, please, ma'am, please, sir. Our foundation of scriptures this morning concerning prophecy, note, instruction, promises, covenant, restoration, and reconciliation. Now, if you look at restoration and reconciliation, you have got to learn that both of those words tie in and they link together. They link together. Okay? And the first thing I'm learning and I've learned is that when I read the scriptures, I want to know who is the most high speaking to. I want to know if, Lord, are you talking to me? Are you talking to a righteous nation? Are you talking to a wicked and perverse uh, nation? Because when, when, when judgment is in the earth, which it is, he judges us by nations. So the main thing we need to understand is what nation are we in? What nation are we associating with? For those who don't know what nation they're in, they're always going to be oppressed or depressed. Why? They don't know the prophecy. They don't know the note that God has given them. They don't know, they're not heeding or the instructions that we know we all have when we know him. And we don't know the people that we are. We don't know his promises. We don't know his covenant. We don't know his restoration. We don't know the reconciliation. But let's read Isaiah 43. There's some key words in here. And you're going to, once you hear them, you'll say, oh, that's a promise. Oh. Isaiah 43, please, ma'am, please, sir. I'm trying to stay in the chair. I really am. And I want to encourage you with this because this is the word of the Most High. He gave this word to uh, uh, Isaiah, but he's prophesying to a people. He, he's prophesying to Israel. He's, he's prophesying to them. He said, listen, go with me before I can connect it. Go with me to Isaiah 42 first. Start at verse 6. And we're going to go all the way to verse 9. Isaiah 42, 6 through 9. Write that down and you can study that out at your time and ask God to meet you where you at. Ask him to give you revelation of where you at. If you're there, wave at me. Hallelujah. Ooh, love that hand, Sister Lord. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now Isaiah 42, verse 6, starting at verse 6 all the way to 9. I, the Lord, have called thee in what? Righteousness. So what is he saying here? He said, I have called you in righteousness. So we have nothing to worry about, nothing to be oppressed about. Why? Because as long as we're in the righteousness of the most high God, why should we worry? And I will hold thy what? Hand. This is a promise. Remember the words I gave you. This is a promise. The most high said, I will hold your, your hand. In other words, as we tell each other, he said, I got you. Do we understand that? Y'all wave at me. Hallelujah. He, he, he got us. Amen. Now remember the words, key words we're studying. He said, I will hold thy hand and I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant. What one of the words? Covenant. So covenant, take a sacrifice. Who was the sacrifice? Yahshua, Jesus. Okay. So he is our blood, what? Covenant. So we have nothing to walk weary about. Will we go through? Yes. Will some of us be oppressed? Yes. But we forgot something. We forgot a promise. We forgot a note he told us. There are notes in each one of our lives, whether you got a children or whether you don't, that God has promised you concerning a child. He's promised you concerning uh, what? Your, 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 your job. He's promised you concerning what? Your health. There's a note that God has given you. What is that note, Sister Mitchell? That note is by his stripes you are what? Healed. Each one of us have that note, but we forget it when we're going through it, our physical bodies. So that's telling me that my mind has got to be what? Renewed, has got to be what? Reconciled by the washing, as Ephesians said, by the washing of his what? Word. Hallelujah. Hey, Tiff, I love you. <laughs> Amen. Now, <clears throat> look at this. A covenant of the people 
for a light of the Gentiles. We as the people of God, and you'll do a deep study on that. I, me and my husband was talking about that last night. Those who are a light, those who have a covenant with the most high God, do we not know that we are to be a light for the Gentiles? How else shall they know? What, what, what we were sent to do. How else shall they know? Okay, next verse. To open the what? The blind eye. That means that those can't see. See, when we get oppressed or we get depressed, we can't open nobody's eyes with the truth of the word of, my, of Yah. Why? Because we're going through ourselves. Don't get me wrong now. I'm, I'm here to encourage you. I love exhorting and esteeming God people how than I do myself. But sometimes, let me share this with you. As an encourager, as an exhorter, I'm going to share this with you. I get tired too. I, I really do get tired. But then you know what happens when I get tired and I go, put it like that, I go to whine into God. You know what he tell me? He said, that ain't what I call you to do. Cast that upon me. Give that to me. You forgot my promise. You forgot my prophecy. You forgot my note. You forgot my instructions. Now that's the way he deal with me. Maybe you don't deal with everybody like that, but he, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a babe. So he deal with me. He meet me right where I am at. I, as a human, in this flesh, I get tired. But what he, he ministered to, to me, where he ministered to us at, is by his spirit. So my spirit, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay in the chair. By his spirit, when he ministered me to me by his spirit, my spirit man comes what? Up. So if my spirit man comes up, that means something. Whatever tipper you see, that tipper gonna come what? up whether it's the words out of my mouth something gonna come up why because he sent me a no he gave me a word of prophecy i will live and not die and declare his mighty works he told me who i am you are anointed you are royal you are a priesthood you are mine that's what he says so be encouraged Regardless of what's going on all around us, the Most High said, be encouraged. Amen? Let's go on, family. He said, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prison from the prisons, and them that sit in darkness out of what? The prison houses. Oh, there's so much in there. A lot of us are in prison, in the physical and in prison of our mind. But when we begin to, oh my God, to just believe the note, believe the prophecy, believe the word, to believe who he said he is, believe who he said we are, we begin to open the eyes by the spirit of the most high God for those who are blind, those who are in prison of their mind, those who are in prison even behind the natural walls. Because what's in the spirit is also in the natural. It's what we see that we believe. No, 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 no. We got to come a little higher than that. Amen. He said, I am the Lord. This is my name and my glory. I will not give unto another, neither my praise to graven image. Okay. Now, this is where the most I rebuke me at. There are things that I had in my life. I can't testify about nobody else up in here. I can testify about what he told me that I did not know was an image that I had a close connection with it. And for some reason, I did not know I had made it out of what? An image that perhaps that I was a, a worshiping. It can be your car. It can be your children. It can be your job. It can be anything that comes in and separates you from what? The most high. But I want to encourage you today that what they pray and ask, Kim, Lord, what is it is? Why well, I'm the same way I was yesterday. Why am I the same place where I was last year? This is what he told me. He said, check your images. 
check your images. So I want to share that with everybody. Sister shared it with me. Check your images. He said, behold, verse nine, behold, the former things are come to pass and the new things I do declare before they spring forth, I will tell you about them. You know why a lot of times I wouldn't hear? Because of that image. The former things have come to pass, but he said, I got something new to tell you. Now, before they come to pass, I'm going I, I, to show you, I'm going to tell you about them. Then when he tell me about them, that's what? Prophecy. That's what? A note. That's what? Instructions. That's what he's telling us. So that last verse is, is, is one that we all can memorize. Verse 8, get the images out the way. I don't care what they is. They could be your husband, your mama, your dad, your dog, your cat, whoever, your jaw, whatever. Get it out of your life. I'm talking about the position of your life. And put him first. Put the most high first. That's what happened to a lot of us. We began to put other things. And that's why the children of Israel, even to this day, we chose other gods. We believe other gods. We heard other people. To this day, we're hearing them. But I want you to be encouraged. The Most High is speaking to us. Point at yourself. So he's speaking to us. He's speaking to me. He's speaking to you. He's telling us, be encouraged. I got you by the hand, baby. You mind. I got you. And when he says that, he cannot what lie. Okay? Now go to go come with me over here to Isaiah 43. You got me on the time. Mm -hmm. Look at verse four, uh, 1 on 43. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. He's speaking to Israel here, Jacob. And he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not. What happened? He said, fear what? Not. So things that we go through and we're going to go through in our life, oh my God, he's telling, he said, fear not. I got you. Remember the verse, remember verse six, the first one we made. I got you. Okay, fear not, he said. Hmm. Nor for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by what name? Thou art what? Mine. A lot of times, even in the word of God, even in prophecy, even in the note, even in the record, see that we forgot who belong, who we belong to. We don't, not, hear me, hear me spiritually. We don't belong to a sickness or disease. We belong to what? Yehovah Rapha, the Lord that what? Healeth thee. But your flesh, our flesh gonna go through. Don't get me wrong, I go through too, hallelujah. Devil try to kill me too. But guess what? Once I began to get an understanding in line, whoo, there's a fight out here. I'm telling you, it's a fight. When you're going through in your body, don't you know you have to fight? Where? Here. I know, I got a testimony, I'll share it later. When we are not in the word of God, don't you know the first thing the enemy going to do is come and tell you what? A lie. Oh, you're going to die. And a lot of times we believe it. Then here come the oppression. Call him what he is, a liar. I know I have to fight. You, you got to fight. That's why even when you are not going through in your physical body, we better get in this word, sharpen this, yeah, sharpen this sword up, and you cut down some demons going to try to come against your mind. Be encouraged. There are times that I have been on my bed. I, I had the Bible next to the bed and couldn't open it. But the, there's a well in each... Ooh, there's a well in each and every last one of us. 
a well with life, teeming with life, the word of God says. So when we're going through, you can reach over with your bucket. I'm a country girl from Waynesboro, Georgia, and my papa used to have a well out there. And he said, baby girl, go out there and get that bucket. I want you to draw some water. But see, if I don't come to the well, whoo, hallelujah, pray for me in a sense because I'm about to get up out of the chair. You got, we got to, not you, me too. That's what I had to do here lately. I had to go to the well. I couldn't even open it. I'm telling you, I couldn't even open it. But what happened was I had the water in me. The well was in me. So I had to draw from that well. But if I don't get the water, if I don't get this whoo, in me while I'm up, even in my flesh, to what? Study. When I am going through in my physical body, this is when the enemy comes and say, well, where's your God now? He began to talk to you. But you got to remember the notes. You got to remember the prophecies. You got to remember the instructions. We got to remember that his, he's faithful and he's, he's a promise for keeper. We got to remember, you said, see, when he said, come boldly before my throne, do we not know that we can say, Father, you said, I can come boldly before your throne of mercy and grace. I don't have to go whining, but I got to know that his word is in me. Because this is what he's going to watch over right here. Our flesh gonna go back from whence it came. But this is what he watches over right here. We have to make sure that this is in us. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. Now, this is an encouraging word now. Because some of us are coming up out of some of us are coming up out of some stuff that we've been going through. And the Most High said, no, 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 that ain't where you need to be. That ain't where I got you. Get up. What he told Joshua, get up. But Lord, no, get up. You should have came to me. He telling us the same thing, Israel. He telling us the same thing. Get up. You should have came to me. Anybody ever been reading the word and for some reason you're going through something when you start reading some, some, some begin to pop, begin to happen? It happens to me. Why? Because you're meant, you are a, you are, I am, we are a spirit. And in the word of God in John, when Jesus was speaking, he said, he said, this word that I give it unto you is what? Life. The word that I speaketh unto you, they are what? Life. Amen. What verse I stopped on? Two, one. Put a finger up. Two. Okay. Okay. He said, when I pass it through the waters. Okay. Do we, do we all go through the water? Anybody been through the water for the last two to three months? I have. I ain't shame. I'm just a little. When you pass through the water. I will be with thee. There you go again. That's a promise. Remember the key words here. Those are promise. I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not what? Overtake you. Why? Because his river is what? Wider. His river, river is what? Stronger. His, his river what? Flows. His river what? Is life. His river is there for me. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be what burn. 
Baba laying on the side of my bed and I'm in fire. Whether it's a fever or whether I can't pick up my head or whatever, I'm in fire. And even in our mind, we said, God, where are you? He right there. Because he said, I got your hand. You forgot my note. You forgot my promises. Come on, Israel. I, I love you. I'm in covenant with you. You are mine. You are chosen. I, I picked you. And because, whoo, yes, Lord, hallelujah. And because, how many of you all know that uh, uh, there are people that hate, hate God? There are people that hate God. There are people that hate your God, hate my God. They don't, they don't hate him because, they hate him because, I, I, Holy Ghost, help me, how do you want? See, whatever God loves you, we need to understand that the devil hates. Whatever the most high loves, the devil hates. That's what we need to understand. But he said, don't forget my note. Don't forget my covenant. Don't forget my promise. Don't forget my prophecy. All of these I have given unto you and more. These are just a few of the words. Okay. He said, when thou, uh, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame, what? Some version said, overtake you. Neither shall the flame kindle you, to you or come upon you. Scripture that come to my spirit even right now is uh uh who them boys in the furnace um Hebrew boys don't you know just because you are who God says you are you gonna be put in a furnace but according to the word right here he said neither shall the flame kill upon thee. A lot of times when we're going through in our things, whether it's in our marriage, our jobs, our children, the co-workers, or whatever, there's a fire there. You want to walk off your jaw. You want to fire everybody. You're in the midst of a flame. He said, don't do it. Don't do it. That flame ain't never overtake. What we do, we focus more on the flame than the flame thrower. Because did not Hebrew say he's in all what? Consuming what? Fire, baby. And his fire consumes the enemy's fire. Because he don't have nothing but a match. But we have to remember the notes. We have to remember the promises. We have to remember the prophecy. We have to remember the instructions. We have to remember the reconciliation. He said he will restore us. My oh, baby. Excuse me. It's too dark, you know. Verse 3. He said, For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. He's talking to us, thy Savior. I have given Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou art precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable. And I looked up that word last night in verse 4. He said, since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been honorable. And look what the next word is. I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for thy life. You know, I had to get this in my heart. I had to get an understanding of it. How many of y'all know that I'll... <coughs> the most high... He's the loving God. Is he a loving father? Abba, Abba, y'all. Isn't he a loving father? Okay, well, what most of the time do we think of him as? The loving father? Uh, do we think of him as uh, a God of war? Do we think of him as, in other words, Lord Shabaoth? Or do we think of him as uh, uh, a God? Yes, he's merciful. Do we think of him uh, as, uh, uh, I don't care, so let them do anything they want to. 
How many of us know that he is a loving God? Do you, would you agree with that? How many of you all know that he's a God of war? Read Old Testament. How many of you all know that in those that God loves, he fights your battle? He will fight your battle. Oh, I thought you were saved. Your God do this and your God. Let, don't mess with me. And don't mess with my people. Don't mess with my sisters and brothers. Y'all might not know this about Sister Mitchell, but I'm telling you, if anybody come up to me talking about something that I know, and I know that God loves, but he loves us all, but he hates too. I mean, oh, God is loving. Yeah, God is loving. But he hate evil. We are to do the same. We are to do the same. Like father, like children. But he is a God, he's a God of war. The majority of the time, yes, we think of he's a God of love. And he is that. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times we need to understand that he's a God of war. Woo, hallelujah. And he will stroke your enemy. He is defeated. These are notes that he's told us. These are prophecies that he's given us. How do we fight? By being obedient. How do we fight? By our praise and our worship. How do we fight? By the words that come out of our mouth. Why? I belong to him. And the battle is his saith the Lord. This is how I fight my battle. Sometimes my flesh want to get involved. Yeah, I feel like doing a knuckle sandwich or a fish or a fish fillet. But the thing about it is, is that this is my flesh. And we give up so easily when we're going through stuff. Oh, Lord, I just, kumba, kumba, kumba. He said, what you mean, kumba? I'm already here. I'm waiting for you to tell me what I told you. It's tight, but it's right. I want you to be encouraged. Anybody being encouraged? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, Captain. Anyway. Verse five, he said, fear not. So if he telling me to fear not, even in verse five, that means that this same fear is going to always try to come upon people of God. We don't read five or six verses and luckily almost every last one of them says, fear not. So this is very important what the Most High is telling the prophet Isaiah. Tell them, hey, fear not, I got them. Tell y'all this right here. Some of us ain't going to make it in. Because what? We're afraid of what do we think the devil going to do. And all the Most High asks us to do is just what? Believe. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed. This is generational. From the east. I will gather thee from the west. I will say unto the north, give them up. And when God speak a word, when the Most High speak a word to those who are in captive by the enemy, who you think they're going to obey? They're going to obey him. He's the one telling the enemy, give them up. Sometimes we as people of war ourselves, we've got to be a people of war, but yet we are a people of love. We are the most Loving and the most forgiving people that walks on the face of the earth. We are. Sometimes we are too docile. And God is saying, raise up. You know, let something else got up in your spirit. That ain't what? That ain't who I call you to be. The song that was out, he said, mighty is our God, mighty is our. He said, yeah, I am mighty, but what about you? By my spirit, if I'm in you, then that means you are mighty. But your mightiness and the manifestation is not going to come forth because you got the what? 
believe. And all this is gathered with wisdom. All this is gathered with authority that we have as a people, as a body of believers. Okay? Even everyone that is called, verse 7, you know, it's going to tell you, give up the north and the south, right? Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. I'm going to share this with you. That's a prophecy. That is a prophecy. He, he's gathering the dry bones now. Can I talk to you? <laughs> it's this lady that, uh, I don't know her name. I tried, I was thrumming through uh, YouTube one day. And, I, and, and, and she was saying something. <laughs> and when she say something, and she, so like the, 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 the presence of the power of God fall on her, she started hitting. She said, stop black to me. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all see. But she told oh, I needed that. Hallelujah. She tells she, in other words, talk black to me. In other words, talk back to me and let me know that what I'm sharing with you, you know and believe that it is the truth of God's word. Because I'm reading it right here to you. Might not agree with you at that time of that prophecy, but it is the most high word. I know when my mentor was mentoring me, she said, Mitchell, everything that I share with you, it ain't for, for, for you right now, but there's a season coming. I want you to put it on the shelf. Because it's going to come that you're going to have to say, oh, I remember that. That means you take it down. And you begin to meditate on it. Because it's going to come. Every word. and nothing in here going to work not come to pass it's going to come to pass and we are in prophecy right now whether you believe it or not and if you will if we're looking for a man to deliver us guess what it ain't working biden ain't gonna deliver you trump obama none of them none of them gonna deliver us none of them the most high said i'm gonna do this if you're looking for another moses he ain't coming. He ain't coming. You know why? Because the most I said, I'm going to do this. I'm the one going gonna, to gonna, gonna bring the bones together. All I ask for you to do is open your mouth and prophesy truth. That's it. Ain't nobody going to save us. Thank you, Jesus. Eternal salvation. Nobody going to deliver us but him. Hallelujah. Y'all wave at me. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We almost finished. How much time I got? I got my clock. Now, I'm going to move to my paper for a minute. When he said in his word, I'm still in Isaiah 43, this is just the revelation, some revelation he gave me. He said, well, you know that I have redeemed you. So when he said, I redeemed you, that means that he brought us back from somewhere that we took ourselves or we led ourselves astray from him. And we could not be redeemed except through what? The blood of who? The lamb. And that lamb had to be what? Perfect. Now, when he said that, he said, he said, know that I have redeemed thee, saith the Lord, and fear not. Those are instructions. Putting it all together now. Those are the instructions. Okay? I have called thee by name. Turn to, first, turn to Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 6. I have called thee by name. And if you can, put your finger also in the New Testament, because I'm telling you, what's in the old is in the new. The Most High did not change his mind. He's trying to wash us in the word. Then when you go there, I want you to go to 1 Peter 2, 9, then Mark 12, 29. <laughs> Six. He said, hear, O Israel, our God, 
is what? What Lord? Who is he talking to? He's talking to Israel. Am I right? Now, when the most high, <clears throat> at the beginning, remember when I shared with you, notice who, when, when, when the prophets, when, when the inspired word, was, God was speaking to the prophets and he was telling, these prophets, we as a people, they spoke to what? Nations. Am I right? But we have to also understand that they are wicked and they are perverse what? Nations. And they hate God. That's why they try to push what they believe on you, on me. That's why judgment have to come where? In the earth. But he said, now, don't forget, I redeem you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Yahashua Hamishia, I have redeemed you. You are mine. Fear not. Ain't that what he said? Somebody wave at me. I can't get an amen, but you can wave. Hallelujah. Now, go. He said, I'll call thee. Now, go to 1 Peter 2, verse 9. And this is a very uh, uh, prominent, and everybody, we, we quote this scripture here. We know it top and bottom. Hey, <clears throat> Sister Joe said, can you hear me? Can you unmute your mic and read that? Can everybody else hear Yes, ma'am. Everybody hear Sister Joe said? <laughs> First Peter 2, verse 9. Sister Monique, after she finished, can you unmute and go to Mark 12, 29? Mark 12, 29. Sister Joe, hit it. It says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Come on. His own special people Come on. that you may proclaim mm -hmm. the praises of him mm -hmm. who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Don't. Let me share this with you. Y'all know I love you. I have shared this scripture. Don't we know that the same thing is in the old is in the new? He's still talking to a people. And if you read the word of the Most High, you will see he speaks to people all throughout his word on what he going to do that they think he ain't going to do what he's already doing and then what he gonna do again. Monique. The most important commandment is this. Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only Lord. Where did we just read that? What was the first, first scripture we read? In Deuteronomy, am I right? Is he not, is the prophet not repeating himself? By the Spirit of God, that what we just came out of Deuteronomy? Same thing. Same thing. Now, he said, for, <clears throat> I'll call you by name. So we know right here in this name, he's talking to Israel. He's talking to the people. He said, but listen, know that I will not leave you. Even when you're going through, we read that. We're going through the flames. Flame. We're going through the fire. We just read that. He said, the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This is a note. I want you to put this in your heart and I want you to plan it. This is a note. This is a promise. This is personal. And this is a prophecy. He said, I am your savior. Who is our savior? What's his name? Yeshua, Jesus. He's our savior. We don't have nothing to nobody else. Okay, now we're into the world of reconciliation. He's the only one that can reconcile us back to who? Abba Yah, which is Abba, which is Father, Yah, which is God, 68, verse 3. I'm not speaking a foreign language, I'm not trying to confuse anybody. Okay, then he said, know that you are precious in my sight. Remember now, I am with thee. I will bring thy seed. Remember we just read that up top? I will bring your seed from the north, east, west, and south. These are what? Yet promises. These are what? Notes. These are what? 
prophecies. He said, I'm going to bring them. I'm going to bring them. And when I bring them, can't nobody say, well, I told y'all I was going to come back and get y'all. No. No. He's one going to do it. Why? Because we know his prophecies. We know his rest. He's re restoring us. We know his, his instructions. And we receive the note. And we know it's personal. But if you don't believe it's personable, you can't receive it. If, you, if we as a people, if we as a person don't believe that it's personal, we ain't going to receive it. And then I said, well, why, why, why? He said, because I'm speaking to you as a people. You ain't going to receive it. If you don't believe it's, I put that in. I'm going to be selfish here for a minute. That prophecy that he said right there, it for me. I own it. What you saying, Sister Mitchell? Because it's personal. Why is it personal? Because of the relationship. Now today hit on that last week. Why is it personal to you? Because I have a relationship with him. That's why it's personal to me. But if you don't have that relationship with him, it ain't going to be personal to you. Because you can't receive it. Me and my husband are married. Dave and Liz, the Jones and all that, they have a relationship. There was a name change. There was a Joan, Joan, female Joan. Well, I don't know who her maiden name was. She became a Joan. That's personal. Can, can, are, we, are we getting that? I, I was a parish. I became a Mitchell. This thing became what? Personal. So when he's talking to me as his what, well, as his child, as his people, that thing is personal because he well, he prophesied it to me. He gave me a note. He gave me instructions. How much I got, baby? We're going to have to finish up next Sunday. Y'all know I love you. Hallelujah. Okay, then he said, but do we understand that? Y'all understand what I'm sharing? So what we what the Most High is telling us, listen, you got to know that you know that you know by the Ruach HaKodesh, that's just in Hebrew, the Ruach HaKodesh, which is the Spirit of God, that you are what? His child. Anybody who is from a wicked and perverse generation, he going to deal with them too. We're going to talk about that next week. But when you belong and you know that you are from what Joseph just read, he said, but listen, you're a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. I was sharing with my kids one day. I said, listen, if you don't do nothing else, you let your children know that they are in a holy nation. Because when, 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 when the most high judge, in which he's judging now, He's judging wickedness. But we as a people of God, we are to know. We are to know that he's judging a nation. Not that it's chosen good, but choosing and have chose what? Evil. From, 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 you know, everybody know we know what's going on with men and women and our children. We know all know that. Worshiping idols, worshiping men. If you're looking for President Biden to set you free, guess me. Uh uh, I'm getting an email. I'm getting an email. I'm getting an email. No. Let me just go on and prophesy that to you now. It ain't going to happen. Y'all know I love you. It's tight, but it's right. Ain't no man going to set no other person free. But then you said we're going to open up the prison walls? Baby, you're talking about natural. 
If they go down there and, and, and lock up Billy Bob, guess who got the key? The sheriff. I said, and the grip. And the, and, and what's the man's name? The sheriff? Oh. Barney. Otis used to let himself out of jail. He did. Otis would let himself out of jail. Because Otis know he had to run to that whole what? City, that whole town. And you better not get in his cell. And Ernest T. Bass, if he couldn't get what he wanted, he'd go around breaking the windows for Emma Lou. I love you, Emma Lou. I love you. So when we know that we need a fix and we know that we need to be drunk in the spirit to help things of God, we need to go and get that key, which is his word, and then we need to lock ourselves in like Otis do. But we don't want to do that. We don't want to be like the oldest, the, the, the Ernest T. Bass that, that break out the windows. Because we don't want to be delivered. We want to believe the lie of what somebody else has said about us, or what they have named us to be. He said, let every man be a liar because our God, our true and living God, the most high God, he's a what? He's a God of truth. And he reigns. Amen. Five minutes. Uh oh, I'm losing. I got one minute. Okay, we're gonna have to finish up next Sunday. Hallelujah. I I didn't get as far as I want to, but notice I love y'all so much. I reach one little scripture there. He said, "Proclaim. Know that everyone that I call by my name, I have created him for my glory." You know why the earth is calling out? Everyone that he said I've created, I've created them for my glory. Oh, my sisters and my brothers, my elders, we all was created for his glory. And all he's telling us about the things that's in our life and the people that's trying to do this or do that, he said, listen, and all the pharaohs that try to come in your life, he said, he's telling them right now, let my people go that they can do what? Come and worship what? Me, saith the Lord. That's all he's saying. Let my people go that they may come and what? Worship me. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. I'm encouraged. Y'all be encouraged. Please know that I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Now, we're going to finish up next Sunday. We're going to continue on with part two of these promises to know the prophecy, the instructions, and reconciliations that God has given us. I pray y'all have a wonderful, blessed day and know that we love you guys. Let us pray. Can everybody unmute your mic a minute, please? Elder Green, I know you out there in uh, what you call them land, and I know you hear me in my ministry. Hallelujah. Y'all know my honey and I just wanted to say that we love you all so much. We thank you all so much for just being in our life. In our life. And you're such a vital part. You are, you are connected. We know you're connected to the Most High. We know you're connected. But we thank God that you all are connected to me. Personally, but more spiritual. I mean, you can leave the mics open. We're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We love you. We adore you. We give you glory and honor. And we worship you. Holy name. We thank you, Lord God, that you chose us, Father. And you said that we are a chosen generation. We are royal. We are holy. We are even yet peculiar. And we thank you that you've called us out of darkness. And we are in that marvelous light. And Lord, we can see. Yes, Father. And Lord, I pray right now, Lord God, that your people are encouraged to let yes. them know, Father God, that you got them. You got us. 
You know us. You called us. You chose us. Lord, that's the proclamation that we stand up, Lord God, and, and we repeat, Father God, to your people as you give to us. We, we are redeemed and sanctified and appointed and chosen, called witness of the Most High God. Just be thou glorified, God. Just be thou glorified. Thank you for the hedge of protection that you have around us. We thank you that our bodies are healed. We thank you that our, our heart is fixed and our mind is renewed. Bless our homes, Lord, and bless those, Lord God, that don't know you, Father, that they come into your kingdom in the name of Jesus, that they may know, Father God, that you have called them. You have called them. And you will be glorified in your heaven, your earth, and in the temple. We love you, Father. Be thou glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless. Bye. Here's the, y'all know I'm trying to turn the thing off, okay? <laughs>